So in this video, I want to talk about Shivery of the Failed Knight, an anime that came out almost 10 years. It's nine years as of uploading this video, pretty much coming up to. And honestly, what can I say? This honestly was an anime that came out in a time that was a bit of a controversy because another anime very similar to it came out at the same time and there was always an argument between the two of which one copied which, which to me, I don't care about. I just wanted to bring it up because I still think it's a fun controversy that I remember back then. But I do like this style of anime where it is that high action, fun romance, comedy aspect with a backstory of characters that have different issues that they've got to deal with and different motivation, motivational factors. And that whole like, he has this skill that's more obscure that allows him to mimic things. I like that. But I do feel like it really leans into that self insert every girl kind of has a thing for him kind of feeling. It, I, I know this might upset some people, but bear with me. It can sometimes feel like what I like call the Kirito effect, where, yeah, it feels like he's too much of a Chad to the point where it feels too unrealistic for me to really invest in on, an, on a realistic level, which is why I have to turn my brain off for many aspects of the story. I still really enjoy it for what it tries to do. But sometimes it does feel like there's those moments where I get that Kirito effect, where I'm like, hmm, you're trying too hard to make him too chatty, where it feels too over the top. Sometimes I would like to see a little bit more of a grounded of him, not so over the top. I think probably what hurts it the most is the sister complex, which is funny because I get accused so many times of defending sister complex style stories. In this, it feels like the sister is more impeding on the romance, that clearly she should see that he is interested in her and she is interested in him. But what, like I said, what I'm getting to is that when it comes to him, I just get annoyed where they focus on him being so much of a Chad that they remove the part, and I don't know if this is just because of the light novel because I haven't read the light novels, but there's this point where he like confesses his feelings to her, they kiss, and then after that they never do really anything again for a while, and even Stella points that out as like, you know, nothing really happened, and I get that that's part of his character, but for me, I'm just like, oh my god, dude, just make a move, like, you're dating, why don't you hold hands, go on a date, you know, but then when they do, the sister jumps in and instantly tries to interject, and it's like, I get that she's very defensive about him because of the past family issues, but at the same time, it's like, Stella isn't one of them. You can clearly tell they're in love with each other, and he's happy. Like, can't you be happy that he is happy? Why do you have to be with him romantically? That's weird. That's where I draw some of those issues of those little ties in of making him too chatty with the sister complex. If they kind of got rid of the sister complex and toned the chat part down a little bit, it would feel a lot more easier to kind of digest because then they could focus a little bit more on the romance. I just, I hate when characters confess their feelings and then they just don't do anything afterwards. Because to me, it's just like, okay, well, what was the point of confessing if you're not going to do anything? But at the same time, there's all these people out there that are trying to find ammo to try and criminalize him and do all these horrible things, which comes up at the end of the season, which is understandable as well. So, Still, you could go on dates and do little things. You don't have to be, like, you know, so over the top. It, it's still a really good series. I really like what it tries to do. But I really, really feel like if I had one major criticism, this needed two cores or at least a second season. Because without the second season, I just feel like at the point where you get emotionally invested in the characters is when they leave you high and dry. Which, of course, is why it's mainly used as a source material seller. That's its, its main primary objective. Whether it gets a second season or not is anyone's guess. It could, it may, it may never. With the ending of the light novels, at least you can go read them. But with the English translations being a mess, and now we're getting new English translations, at least now you can go into it with the hopes that it will get a full adaptation from the English perspective, not from the Japanese. Because, again, if you read Japanese, you can get all those versions. So I do have hope that there would be a season two to re-promote it. And it needs one, because 
it's a story that I think would do well. It would do well from a season two perspective because it's got a story that I think will go with a, sh a younger audience that wants that kind of Chad-like guy that's got this cute girl princess as, as basically his wife kind of thing. I think that story is very compelling. I just only really have an issue with how over the top the sister is because the sister more hinders the actual romance moving and I get that that slows the romance down because they don't want them to get together too quickly but I'm like they can easily use the fact that they're at a school setting to slow the romance down that they can't do anything too crazy because yeah they, they're at a school they're nights they can't like get it on at night time the most they can do is hold hands maybe a kiss every now and again or a cheek whatever a peck whatever a nice cute day and occasionally they might have like a bit of a a a, a C block where like someone rocks up and disturbs their cutesy romance but the fact that the sister is so aggressive about it it's like my god tone down sister I also really do like her roommate he is real or she I don't know actually it, it's the anime is very like all over the place with that but I really like them they're like a really cool character the way they kind of like they're like this like they hang out with the sister and they're like a really good like friend they confide in them they they help them out they give them good advice and then they help out the brother and they give advice like i like them as a character because i feel like they really contribute to the story and adding growth to both of them that's why i like them individually as far as the backstory goes, I do like where the potential of that is, where the father's like, oh yeah, I care about my kid, but also I'm a complete douchebag towards my kid, and where that will go, the potential of that story arc is also really good as well, and the fact that the princess Stella, where that goes as well, because clearly there's going to be political stuff that gets involved in that component, that's also a really good tie-in, and then you've also got the fact that he's got to do certain objectives to be able to continue going forward, but again, there's some really good key notes in that story that really make it quite compelling. It's a good, solid foundation of a story. It's just like I said, I just would like him to be toned down a little bit, the sister to be toned down, but I also do wonder if that's just an anime-only thing, because that kind of stuff sells really well on an anime, while a light novel might have had that toned down a little bit. But I, again, like I said, I understand the sister being a little bit too protective because of what he's been through, so she wants to protect him from outside influences, but at the same time, if you're too protective and you don't let anyone get close to him, he's going to feel isolated and it will end up hurting him more and you're going to do more harm than good. At the same time, you might be his sister, but you're not going to be able to, one, be with him romantically, and two, you're not going to be able to be there to protect him all the time. He has to be able to stand on his own, and he also has to have friends that he can trust in that can be there with him, and having Stella there is one of those characters that I think helps and complements him quite well. She is a good character. As much as she's a fiery redhead, which seems to be a common occurrence when it comes to these kind of animes, I think she is a fun and good character. She's quirky. She's cute. She's charismatic. She has those highs and those lows. She is, in my opinion, perfectly well written as far as a love interest goes. She has her desires. And yeah, the back and forth between them, the sister and Stella, is good, especially when they're bantering about each other, like, you know, washboard, melons. Like, those insults are good. I just wish the sister wasn't so over the top at the point of like, oh, I'm going to be with my brother kind of thing. That where I'm just like, yeah, I get that it's a funny meme to go with, but I'm like, if it ends up hurting the story and the romance development, then I kind of get a little bit annoyed. So I love the series. I highly recommend it if you have not watched it. If you're just watching because you want my opinion, I'm sure some of you have got some angry comments to say because I don't completely worship the series, but that's how I always do my reviews and analysis. I always weigh up the positives and the negatives because every series always has positives and negatives. It's just in this day and age, content creators only want to do one or the other. They only will either trash on everything or love everything because we're at this inflection point on content creation where we're not allowed to be balanced in our reviews. We have to be basically on one side or the other and I know people say well you're fence sitting it's like no it's not fence sitting it's being fair and balanced when it comes to criticizing and giving positive feelings about different shows and I think that is something that's been missed in the anime and YouTube community so again love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below if you like this video hit the like subscribe and I'll see you beautiful nerds in the next video